Well, Coach Greg McMackin's million-dollar paycheck was just one of the things that may have marked his end with the Warriors. And despite all that drama, new coach Norm Chow is coming forward with how much he's making. With more on this story, let's turn to CivilBeat.com editor John Temple. Good morning, John. Good morning. And, you know, yeah, the UH was trying to keep uh, the coach's salary under wraps, but uh, you guys found out what he's making. Yeah, it's really bizarre what UH tried to do. And, you know, to the coach's great credit, he just came forward and released his salary just as a matter to clear the air. And, and his salary is $550,000, which is one half of what Coach McMacken was uh, being paid. So, uh, you know, it's a, it was a real big step on his part. It's really strange because the reality is, is the university released McMacken's salary to us, but wouldn't release Chow's. They gave us his contract, marked out his salary, and said they were protecting. He had a right to privacy. Well, there's no. The law does not give a privacy right related to public salaries. But he is, believe it or not, the coaches at UH, even the head football coach, is part of a union. And under a union contract, only the salary ranges can be released. Then the university cited some executive document, their executive policy. It also makes no mention of this right to privacy or a law protecting it. So UH was jumping all over the place. It was totally bizarre. And the coach just stepped forward and cleared it up because the university had given us McMacken's uh, uh, salary before. And it doesn't include, I mean, th there's also these uh, pretty lucrative bonuses, right, John? Yeah, a coach always has bonuses for performance, and there's always private aspects to a contract in the sense of, you know, radio shows, television appearances. A coach can make a lot of extra money, but clearly he's coming in at a lot lower base rate than the former coach. And what's funny is June Jones, who had the best record, was paid even less. He was only paid 408000 John, let's talk about uh, the political race. And former Honolulu Mayor Mufi Hanneman is running for the second congressional district in Congress. And uh, he's actually making some comparisons to President Barack Obama in terms of same-sex marriage. So what is that comparison? Well, what happened was we asked all the candidates in the second congressional district primary their views on social issues because uh, Maisie Hirono, the current congresswoman, is very liberal and and some are, like Mr. Um, May former Mayor Hanneman, are, are quite conservative. So he tried to distinguish himself and drag himself to be with um, the president and say, look, I have the same view on marriage, same-sex marriage as the president, which is that a marriage should be between a man and a woman. We do fact checks on politicians during the election year, and, and in this one we gave mostly true. The reason we only gave him mostly true is the president has ab abandoned the Defense of Marriage Act. That act defines... Uh, marriage is between a man and a woman. And also, in, in the president, before he ran for president, actually said he supported same-sex marriage, and he's clearly moving in that direction. So the, the former mayor is close, but not right on the money. All right. Thanks, John. A couple of very interesting stories that you'll find on CivilBeat.com this morning. Great talking to you, as always. Great to be with you. And you can find the complete story we just discussed on CivilBeat.com. And thanks for waking up with us. Coming up next, we're working on our swing.